All right, thanks, Nick. Well, with the total solar eclipse happening tomorrow afternoon, experts from all over the nation are right here in western New York. And today we are joined by John Soika from NASA, who is here to tell us all about the total solar eclipse. John, thank you for being here this morning. Now, you're going to be set up at Knox Farm State Park. Talk a little bit about what you'll be doing tomorrow. So what we're going to be doing for the uh, public tomorrow is I have a series of uh, a bunch of scientists that have accompanied me with different telescopes and different sensors. We're going to image the sun at different wavelengths of light. And we're going to open up at least one telescope so that the public can actually look at the surface of the sun and see the convection currents, the loops, the flares, just like you would see from, from NASA. And you have seen a total solar eclipse before. Talk about what people can expect tomorrow. So, you know, there's a couple of things. Uh, expect a lot of traffic. Uh, expect, uh, you know, people in a hurry. But if you plan ahead, you should be fine. So get to your location bright and early. Uh, when the solar eclipse begins to happen, um, it is an awe-inspiring experience. I heard the last gentleman in the last segment mention that. It's like... Uh, the equivalent of perhaps uh, seeing the birth of your first child or something. Like, you'll never forget it. It's, it's daylight, it becomes dark, and you'll just, it's, it's worth seeing once in a lifetime. All right, and we've been hearing, you know, if you're going to be viewing this, it's so important to wear those special glasses. Um, talk about kind of what this can do, you know, to your phone, if you take a picture, if you take videos, any of that, and how important it is to keep safety in mind. So the uh, advice from the experts is, don't take any pictures, use your own eyes, put it to your brain and just remember the memory. If you must take a picture, uh, there's something called the diamond ring and that's, and you saw it in the previous picture where there's a, it, look, it looks like a diamond ring. That's when it's okay to take off your glasses, the full, equipped, the full eclipse is gonna follow, take your pictures then, then by the time you're seeing the second, what they call the second contact, which is the second ring, Looks just like a diamond ring again. Uh, that's when you want to put your, your glasses back on. But I think there is something to just, you know, living in the moment, just kind of taking in the experience um, and kind of put the phone down a little bit for this. Yes. Um, John, what else do you want people to know? I, I think, uh, you know, it, it is a once in a lifetime experience. Uh, some people have asked me if, how they might take a picture. There's something called Mylar, M Y L A R. And you can use that in front of your lenses and things like that. And that's just as a, if you must take your pictures, that's what you're going to use. But I would recommend just put it to memory and let NASA and, and, and everyone else take the pictures. And then you can look at them at any time you want. But enjoy with your friends and family. All right. Good advice right there. Well, thank you so much for stopping in this morning. And stay with us. Meteorologist Nick Guzzo will have your forecast.